And these bitch ass boys claiming that body, man. Y'all niggas know y'all ain't do that shit, man. Real talk. Y'all niggas know who did that shit, man. Stop playing, man. Real talk, man. Y'all niggas know who did that shit, man. Whatever the dude name, his name, Jojo, whatever them niggas out there claiming. Man, y'all niggas stop lying on bodies, man. Y'all know y'all ain't do that shit, man. We did that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We did that shit. Took the Louis Vuitton bag. He only had 10000 in there. Exact. You know what I'm saying? He had it all up in rubber band. Took that from him. Fuck him. I don't give a fuck him. I really wanted for murder and robberies and shit around Florida. So I don't give a fuck, man. Y'all come for me, come for me, bitch ass nigga. Y'all know where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Look where I'm at, bitch ass nigga. Y'all know how we coming. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. If for any Florida rapper, do any that dissing. I'm telling you. Do any that dissing. You're going to be in there like X, bitch ass. His last words, please don't, please don't. Please, I got fans to live for. Fuck you and your fan, nigga. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> in discussion. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Westbrook in the studio, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to bring this update video. This is some information. I don't know if it's true or not. Okay, let me stop real quick. Let me talk to my commenters really quick before we get this video playing over here. They say, Westbrook, why you say you in the studio if you in your car? Well, thanks to the Isotope Spire Studio, my studio is wherever I take it. If you watch my earlier videos, you know I got a home studio, but I've been traveling. So, while I roll this up, let's not get distracted from the topic. While I roll this up, thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. Let's watch this video over here where this guy basically stating they got the wrong people for the XXX and Tassion murder. Here we go. What y'all doing, bro? I don't got nothing. What y'all doing, bro? What y'all doing, bro? I don't got nothing, bro. Please, please don't do it. Don't, please don't shoot my guy, kid. I got people to live for. I got people to live for. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Fuck that nigga, man. Fuck that ex nigga, man. Y'all know what it is with us, man. For real. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to pin the wrong niggas with the murder, bro. Real nigga shit. I should have heard this nigga last words, man. Please, no, 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 please. Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. You should never did that to my cousin. No. You should never did that to my cousin. He know what he did. He know what's up with us. He know he know what happened. Fuck him. This for any other Florida rapper. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? You do any fuck shit, we're going to come for you. We're going to catch you anywhere. Broad daylight. I don't give a fuck. That nigga last words was, no, please don't. I got people to live for. I got fans. Get your bitch ass up, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the police. I already got a warrant for a fucking murder. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Fuck that nigga X, man. Nigga deserve what the fuck he got. Real nigga shit. Took the Louis Vuitton bag. He only had 10 bands in there. 10 bands ain't shit. I got more than that. You know what I'm saying? But fuck that dude X, man. Y'all know. Y'all know what's up, man. It's for any Florida rapper, man. You know what I'm saying? So any Florida rapper doing all that pussy ass ditching, y'all gonna die. Y'all gonna die. I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck how y'all come, y'all gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Y'all diss the guy, y'all gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who we is, man. The streets know. That's all I gotta say, man. Fuck the nigga X, man. Die and piss, I'm about to roll up an X pack, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that nigga, he know what's up. We killed that bitch ass nigga. This ain't no. Alright, so. I don't know how old this video is. By the time I saw it, it was already up to, I believe, 2 million views. Obviously, World Star Hip Hop just reposted it. But 
the thing there's a few things that stand out in this video to me now he's saying you know people basically clout chasing uh, and saying that they didn't done this murder when they haven't um the, it's not too many times that when somebody is caught for a murder another person will say you know i he ain't do it i did it there is a few times unless like this guy said he already wanted for a murder so for him it don't matter and it was more personal than anything for this guy to be saying that he did this right what about all the police evidence is he saying that he helped set it up is he saying that he's one of the shooters in this in this particular situation he wanted the people who uh one of the other suspects who got the warrant out for his arrest i mean because this this first of all to me this dude seems serious not serious in the sense of like ooh, i'm scared um but he seemed like a type of person that is really really ready to do whatever it is that he wants all right and when you're talking about crime somebody who willing to do anything they'll definitely murder somebody so he he's saying that it was personal you know what i'm saying he he detailing how much money was in the bag i don't know if that is the exact amount in the bag but it's raising a, a lot of questions you know what i'm saying for me personally i don't know if some of y'all seen this video a long time ago before they caught suspects and this dude was just a clout chaser or whatever but at the end of the day if he is just clout chasing it's very 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 disrespectful at this time since they already got somebody even if they didn't have somebody for you to be putting yourself in that realm like oh yeah i did it and he was begging for his last blah blah talking about his kids talking about his fans and blah blah that's some cold-hearted shit you know what i'm saying if it was per he's talking about you shouldn't have did that to my cousin you already noticed that this and i i have a lot of people that i know who like it's a lot of people that's wishy-washy about this whole ex situation unfortunately i know a lot of his fans uh i hate to see him go but it's a lot of people that's wishy-washy about if it's such a bad thing that he's gone and a lot of people that i know from florida also didn't like the guy i mean i'm not saying i i don't have a problem with him um but you know i, I went on twitter and seen a couple of my friends putting some things up negative things about x so i know for a fact it's a lot of people it's a lot of people that don't like him now <clears throat> You know, the cops, I don't think it ever came out how much money he had in the bag. They did say that he fought for his life. And there is a video of some skinny guy. The same, this, I mean, I don't know if it's the same guy, but this guy is a skinny guy. Um, there's a video of a skinny guy leaning in X's car. And while they're saying that this um the suspect that they arrested was recording the situation where uh he was about to be assaulted about to be murdered so who is this character who is this person you know what i'm saying why are they um relaying personal intimate uh situations about this case um about x's last words and then tying it to something so personal um, first of all, this is a good way to get caught because voice recognition does exist and you, you tying it to something. So they say, okay, well, who did X have a problem with? Um, and then who are their related family members? And then which one of these family members has a warrant? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it'd be super easy to catch a person. You know what I'm saying? That's already in the system. If you can tie them to an altercation that X has already had you know what i'm saying so i just find this situation this whole post like very chilling you know what i'm saying he was hunted as far as these people were in and out of basically every establishment that he went into that day not not basically every establishment a few establishments that he went into that day 
as well as the fact that um, this this person, the suspect that they caught, um, was wearing the orange sandals throughout the day as he was doing his shopping to commit this murder. So, I mean, what this guy is saying goes against what the police know completely. Not not completely. Uh, he could have he could have been an accomplice with this with this guy. But but it's not showing up in the evidence. They saying they got men with dreadlocks from even with this guy with the hair wrap on. I got I got dreads like even with the hair wrap on, you will still see my hair. So with the T-shirt over his face, you can't really see his hair. Um, they obviously don't have the suspects already because I'm constantly looking that information up and I'm not seeing anything on that as well. So this is just a situation I hope is resolved as soon as possible because like this guy said if he already got a murder and then another murder on his on his name he is not gonna hesitate to commit another one if this was a situation where x was haunted by something from his past that ultimately ended up in his demise i i urge people to consider all of the options that you can take when dealing with an altercation in order to not make it more extreme than it should be because what you don't want to do is this is 2018 for some reason people hold hard grudges whether it's something you say on the internet something you've done to them personally something you've done to a family member people hold really really hard grudges so what i would hate to see is a situation that you think is minor and then somebody else makes it a huge deal and then you ended up getting hurt. Like just yesterday, I was sitting out here recording a video and I see a white car come down the hill. I hear some fussing, some fussing, some fussing. And then I look over my shoulder right out here. I just look over my shoulder and it's a dude, two dudes with pistols. They cock their pistols back and they're getting ready to fire at this. They get ready to shoot at this white car. You know what I'm saying? They cussing and fussing. They getting ready to shoot this white car down. Now, that I don't know what their situation was, but at the end of the day, something had happened before that pissed them guys off today that was about to make them shoot this car up. Period. That's all you need to know. You know what I'm saying? So make sure when you're making moves in your life, you're thinking about it's 2018. People don't fight no more. Somebody not going to catch you slipping on a good day and jump you. They might fucking shoot you. They might stab you. They might do anything to you. It's like the world is engulfed in jail rules. You know what I'm saying? Like if we was in prison, this would be prison rules for these type of situations that people going through. And that's what I feel like the world is, 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 is doing right now. You know what I'm saying? We in straight prison rule right now to the point where you can't do something to somebody and expect for them to just let it slide. Retaliation is on the menu, people. It's on the menu, period. So I just wanted to put that video out there. Uh, if you know information about this video, if you found out that it was false or anything like that, please let me know in the comments below. Shout out to all of my new subscribers. If you're wondering why Westbrook keeps saying he in the studio, it's because because of that Spire Studio by Isotope, I can take my studio wherever I go. It's super convenient for me to be able to record on the go. I just send the music from here to my Pro Tools so I can get a good mix, or I take it into the studio to re-record the vocals in a better manner than I was. But this thing is awesome. Comes with a microphone on the front. This is not a paid advertisement, by the way. I just love this product. I had it for about six months now, since it first came out. You got your mic and, uh, and guitar plugs in the back if you want to use those. And you got a headphone jack in the front. Uh, so that's why I say Westbrook in the studio, because after I moved out of my home studio, this right here is my studio. And I got a lot of videos on the Spire. If you're a rapper out there and you're interested and you want to see this thing in action, I got a lot of videos on the Spire. I have the video link down here in the description. 
you already know what it is. Westbrook in the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace. No matter what people say, always figure it out for yourself. Uh, I know you said you wait for me, but lately I've been running. You telling me I'm perfect, or what you see is what I'm really showing. I've been on the road and I got some petty dough. Uh, I got way too focused. I got blueberry muffins stuck in my teeth. Please forgive me. To your text, I use just emojis. Cause when you get up in your feelings, that energy be so in motion. Pharaoh said, teach the queens. You got it and they want it, but I'm passing out the tip.